Okay, so in the first part, um, we already have all the setups. So we're using these materials, and I already discussed how to set all the materials. The sales and conditions, um, if you have, let's say this is our, actually the parts, that means the geometry, and the material, uh, it is, you know, for the, the inside the geometry, we have the material is in here. So we do not need to change it. But in some cases, if you're just simulating the continuous space is the fluid is maybe water, then you need to change it from here. So from the first project, you already know this. The boundary conditions, this is important now. Click on the inlets. If you click on the inlets, if you can remember, we had the particle velocity three meters per second. We'll put it three here. And this discrete phase, at the inlet, we'll give it its escape. And during the class, I will explain it what it means, the escape means. So I'll close it. Uh, the internal, we do not need to do anything. The outlet, you can select the outlet pressure. So we have two outlets. I'll click there. So let's say the output, it, you can put the gas pressure is zero, or you can keep it as it is the zero pressure outlet. The wall, just click on the wall. This is a static wall. Uh, it will be stationary wall, no slip, you know, the roughness is zero. DPM, it will be replaced. That means when the particle will hit the wall, um, you know, it will reflect. The how strong will be the reflections, you can set it from here. You can put it at like the constant. If you put it as one, that means it will be maximum reflections. If you put it zero, then there will be no, uh, you know, Reflection. So I'll put it kind of um, so it is polynomial. So I'll keep the default. And um, yeah, so I will just keep it as it is. Okay, I'm not changing anything. So I'll click um, apply and close it. So the dynamic mesh we usually use for the mesh movement. That means when the wall is not uh, static, when the wall is moving, then we can consider this dynamic mesh here. I will show you this on during the class. The reference values, um, keep this as it is. Go to the solution methods. Uh, the solution method here. So you can use the simple or couple. So use the simple. Use all this method is second order. So you, you can see it's first order. So use everything second order. And keep all the setup as it is. The controls. Here we can um, see the under relaxation factor, okay? And we'll just keep this, um, everything as it is, but not going to change. The report definitions that some options, we can plot the uh, regions uh, for different you know, times, for different time states or the flow rates that we can do. And this is actually something um, we do not need for this, uh, video, but I will discuss everything during the class and it will be available in the class recording. The solution we already had the solutions and yeah, the monitors. So, you know, here we can select the residual. So, we'll keep this as it is, but not going to change it. And the report plots, this sort of thing, I'm not going to change anything here. I'll click on initializations, just click on hybrid initialize and Click on this initialize. So you see the initialization done. Uh, run calculations. I will actually select the number of time steps here. So previously I had 0 0.001. Okay. And number of time steps. Let's say I will run it for um, 100 time steps, just for example, maximum 20 iterations. I'll keep that default. If we click on run, then you will see. Um, in the console, we'll get the informations. So, okay, I'll stop it here. I'll just stop it here. You can see, uh, most importantly, we, when we're getting, it says um, injecting 304 particles um, at time t equal zero. And then, it's, okay, I'll just run a bit more and I really want to show you what is happening. Yeah, I'll stop it now. So this is one option. 
in this case it says the number tracked zero okay so no more party yield here you see it says number tracked zero that means it cannot track the party yield so something happening uh, you, you look here the injected 342 particle and we do not have all this information so what i will do we previously used the setup i'll go to the discrete phase so you will get this thing i will um you know the i selected the, the inject particle the particle time steps okay so we need to run it a bit more so here now i will select for fluid flow time step and see what's the difference okay so click on okay so i'm just playing with these two options click on initialize click on okay and run the calculations so click on apply so um yeah we just uh we'll, we'll just wait for some uh iterations and we'll see uh how how it looks like yeah so we can see how many time steps so 96 time steps it's already um you know remaining so i will stop it here stop at the end of the time steps or you can stop at the end of the iterations okay so we, we can see how it looks like um, the number tracked after so this is the flow time point zero zero seven second time is three and number tracked is three hundred and four particles this is all the you know um, you can see that the iterations we have now if you really want to see what we can do is uh, we can track the particles and we can see how it looks like so if i click on the reports i need to go to the graphics okay so if you go to the particle tracks and and select the inject click on this all click on save or display so you can see how where is your particle right now how it looks like so what i will do is for better view i will just draw the mesh okay i will draw the aces not the face and the outline display i'll close it and i will save uh this injections say what display yep so now you can see okay this one is not changing yet. so this is you see like currently we injected the particle from here so now you see the particle is just coming this way so we have 304 particles inside if we run it for more time so you see it's still we injected 304 particles from this inlet now it's traveling here if i run it then now particle this is the bifurcation will step from here particle will uh, you know separate through this branches and then it will go outside so what i will do so i really want to show you so let me play from here so we'll see um how it changed we can also show the animation here like how the particle is uh moving you can see like every time step how the particle is just going uh from the inlet to, to the outlets so that means how it is traveling inside the domain so we can see the update information here after every time step it will update the results here so it's the 95 time steps remaining yeah so still i can see 304 particles um so we need more time let's say we have limited time actually because uh, otherwise the video will be lengthy i can show you the results here again 
the particle tracks and I will click on the index display. So now you can see guys how it looks like. You see now particle previously, it was kind of here. You see now it comes at this position. That means the separation is happening. So we need to consider like how this particle is separating through these inlets and outlets. We'll use different diameter particles and we'll see how these particles are just going through this in light, these outlets, that means the separation rates and the other properties. So this is um, like how we will run the simulation now. In the next video, um, I will show you how to analyze these results. Once the simulation completed, then how we can analyze the results. So that's it for this video and how to you know do the post processing for the results you need to go to through the you know the next part